Hey, good morning guys, Hammer here. Thanks for clicking on. Uh, so we got a decent morning this morning, so I'm gonna go out for a ride. Uh, I wanna bring you guys in, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit this morning about uh, a couple of riding tips. Uh, the way I ride, uh, how I ride, and why I ride that way. Uh, I know there's, there's probably a few of you guys out there that have been riding a long time, and you'll probably look at this and say, yeah, no shit. Uh, there may be some others that uh, fairly new to riding might actually get a point or two. Um, and also, there may be some of you out there that don't ride a motorcycle, what we call cagers, and maybe you might look at this video and say, wow, that's why they do that, you know? Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a few of these tips. We're going to go out for a ride, and uh, so let's get going. Cue the intro. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is going to be um, the riding buffer that I use. Uh, the space that I keep between me and the vehicle that's in front of me. Um, I do that for several reasons, not the least of which being if uh, they jack up on their brakes, I have to have a little bit of time to be able to stop uh, so I don't back into the rear end of them. Uh, also, if something comes out from underneath their vehicle, I need time to be able to see it and avoid it. So that's the main reason for that. Another thing is lane positioning. If you notice, I don't ride in the middle. I ride off to one side or the other. Now, normally, on a three-lane road, I ride in the middle lane. Just the, the right lane is for people coming and going. Uh, same thing with the left. The middle is the travel lane. So I would normally ride here. Uh, I'm going to be taking a right turn right up here, so I'm not going to be here very long. And also, if you notice, I'm as far away from that vehicle as I could get. Um, and also, I do that on purpose. So, and another thing is you'll notice I never ride in the center of the lane. I either ride off to this side or off to this side. And there's a reason for that as well. Um, especially if there's traffic in front of me, which right now there isn't. But most of your oil stains and fluids and droppings from the vehicles are in the middle of the lanes, not where their tires are. So I normally ride where the tires are. I mean, if you look at this lane, you see the black strip in the middle and it's clear on each side. That's because of all the traffic, the tires on it. So the center here will be more slick than here. And another thing, when I'm coming up to a vehicle to stop, if you notice, I come right up on the driver's side, always and I look right at that mirror because that person can see me and also now what I'm doing is I'm looking in my mirrors and making sure I'm hitting my brake tapping it if I need to to make anybody coming behind me aware that I am here and I'm stopped when I'm coming up to an intersection um, I'm always I'm always hyper aware when I'm coming up to an intersection and I I just automatically assume that every 
everybody's out to get me. <laughs> um, I never take for granted that I have the right of way. Uh, that's how people die. And uh, I don't want to be a statistic. So that's basically the gist of it. You know, I mean, I, I try to ride safely. I try to watch out for uh, everybody. I assume they're all out to get me and uh, probably help me to stay as safe as possible anyway. Um, so hopefully uh, you may have uh, caught a couple of these tips, especially if you're somebody who doesn't ride. Uh, maybe you'll understand a little bit about uh, why we ride the way we do. Um, so that's it for now. I'll catch you here in a bit. I took a ride down here to Gulf Coast Harley Davidson this morning. Um, quite a few bikes down here today. And, uh, a blood mobile down there. I just donated blood. And uh, of course, it wouldn't be complete without the bikini bike wash. And there's a car show down the end down here. I'm going to take a walk down here and uh, show you some of the cars they got. It's early yet. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to go on, but it's only about noon now. So. We walk down the end here and uh, show you some of these cars. This is a flood mobile we just came out of. So, did my donation. So uh, hopefully uh, everybody out there donates blood. Doesn't take very long. It's a pretty simple thing to do, and uh, it really uh, help somebody. So. So there's only a few cars out here right now. I don't know uh, when this thing's going to get started. But uh, take a look at them. A nice Cadillac right here. Meticulously maintained. Catalina, 421. cars used to have ashtrays <laughs> now they're change purses and of course the fuzzy dice Got this set up pretty nice. I guess because it's an antique, he gets away with no uh, wheel wells. Good booster. Got the Impala. It's like an early version of the Batmobile, isn't it? <laughs> nice looking. 
car. They must have parked it and had it drop down. Looks like the uh, muffler sitting right on the ground right there. He's got a couple of modern conveniences in there. He's got a push button transmission. Very nice. All right, so that's what's out here right now. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, had a pretty nice ride this morning. Uh, donated blood, so uh, I urge all of you to do that if you don't already. It's a pretty simple thing and uh, it's definitely needed. Could help somebody, so I do it. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed some of those tips. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention also about the, the buffer that I leave. Um, something that usually happens is when you leave a bit of a space like that between you and the next vehicle, there's always some asshole that thinks that you left it open for them. Um, that it's just inevitable. It's going to happen, you know. So. I'm just usually aware of that and uh, I try to watch for it. When they come in, I just got to back off a little bit more. So it's the way that is. Um, so anyway, I uh, had a pretty good day, enjoyed it. Didn't do any drone flying. I may fly it a little bit here at the house today. Um, but, you know, had a nice day, had a nice ride. So I uh, appreciate you guys joining me. Thanks for coming along and I uh, always appreciate it. Don't forget to uh, give this video a like and uh, share and subscribe. So thanks a lot guys, appreciate you coming on. Remember to be safe. I'm Hammer, I'm out.